I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com, and here's some ideas for using the keyboard pressure output on the Q174 MIDI interface. The Q174 MIDI interface produces a pressure voltage for keyboards that have that capability. Keyboards from Synthesizers.com have pressure, and so do some other high-end keyboard controllers, even some older keyboards like the Yamaha DX7. Pressing the key hard after a normal depress produces a voltage that varies depending upon how hard you press it. Pressure voltage can be used to control any parameter in the system. For starters, let's do pitch bending. Patch pressure to the Q106 oscillator's variable input jack and set the level to 1. This oscillator is providing the audio for a typical synth patch. Turn the level up for greater bend. Now let's control the Q107 filter with pressure. Set the level knob to 1 and the frequency to 6. Turn up the level for greater response. Here's a vibrato patch. Patch pressure into a Q108 amplifier's control input. Set the response to linear, gain to 0, and level to 5. Then patch a Q106 oscillator to the signal input of the Q108. Set the Q106 range to low and set the frequency for the vibrato speed you like. Now the output of the Q108 amplifier will be our vibrato voltage. Patch that into the audio oscillator's variable input jack. Turn up the level for greater response. Pressure can also be used to trigger an envelope generator, and that envelope can control something else, like a filter for example. You might have to boost the pressure signal through a Q125 signal processor to make it trigger the Q109 envelope generator. Pressure can even be used to trigger a sequencer. The pressure voltage can make for a lot of fun effects, so patch outside the box and into the realm of voltage control. Voltage control. Voltage control.